other eventful, uh, interesting little t- – it might have been the most interesting thing to come out of Knoxville this weekend was Jonathan Davenport comparing uh, – <laughs> Well, he called uh, – it goes back to last year and him calling Knoxville a dump. Yeah. And then doubling down on his – even though he won Thursday night, um, the opener, prelim night for uh, Knoxville, he still doubles down and still says, oh, it's still a dump. <laughs> and uh, comes up with an interesting analogy comparing it to going to visit your in-laws and how you kind of got to um, hold your nose, yeah. grin and bear it. <laughs> you know? But there's one thing – there's one thing you don't do. When you go to visit your in-laws and you you grin and bear it, you hold your nose and make the best of it. You don't make it obvious that that's yeah, what you're you doing. Don't tell your in-laws <laughs> and, and the entire public that hey, I'm I don't I don't want to be here, but I'm here. I'm here right? because I have to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm only here so I don't get fined. Yeah, and the, the NFL player yeah. lynch or whatever. Anyway, um, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting that you're getting it's just up. something you keep to yourself. I think if you yeah. you know that assertion that 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 <laughs> thought. Um, I was okay with him last year being frustrated leaving there. And um, so Kenny Collins, Georgia racer, Mm -hmm. made a post about all this on Facebook and said, you'd be surprised what drivers, if they're all honest, what they would say about racetracks, you know, and certain tracks and all that. Um, So, and a lot of times when a a driver gets frustrated and you go ask, it's not a good time to ask him. No. You know, if he's frustrated right after a race, like last year, Davenport, I think, he tear up a race car or hurt a motor or something. something. Yeah. He didn't run well or right. something. Had some bad luck at Knoxville. Someone asked him, and he compared it to it, said it's a dump. Don't know why we come here or something like that. So I, I, I gave a pass on that, right? That was reacting. He was probably frustrated. Yes. Uh, and he said his honest thoughts, mm-hmm. which we all kind of want to do when you're frustrated. Right. And, and even if the place – there's a lot of times it might not – the place might not be bad. Yeah. But because it – you feel like track conditions or the way the track races cause you to have a bad night, you blame it on that. Yeah. I you know feel like I mean? you used the wrong word. It's clearly not a dump, yeah. right? It's a high, Wait, very exp- – yeah. Which he said that. He did say that. Okay. <laughs> so, he runs what wins Thursday night, yeah. says the mother-in-law or um, in-law analogy. Is that in victory lane? I think it was. Yeah. I believe it was. But Not then I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I feel bad because I can't remember Hallowed who. Hallowed grounds. Yeah. Victory lane at Knoxville. For sprint cars. <laughs> but still. You know, anyway. Um, so, I can't remember the um, page or whatever it is that interviewed him. I feel bad about that. Um Last year, they're the ones I think he told and to talk to and called it a dump. They asked him again this year, and he said, "Oh, it's still a dump." And then he clarified he didn't mean the facilities, right, very nice right. facilities. He just doesn't like the way, the way the track races. Races, he says they got the bottom pulled out too far. He did explain a lot. Yeah. I felt like, and I, th- I think he's using a bad word. Um, not a bad. A, it's a, just it's it, not a bad word in that it sense. It's just the wrong word. The wrong word. It does not race well for late models. Yes, and which is unfortunate because it used to race really well for yeah. late models, and yeah. now it's like I didn't watch a whole lot of the races, and so and Bobby for, stink it up. I Saturday night maybe, but all I know is for Thursday night. Right, we watched it after during practice. After practice, watched the final ten or twelve lap run there, and it's like J- JD and Bobby were the same speed. Yeah, but they can't it race was like each other. They literally could not. Bobby could not get any closer than about a, a second, an eighth of a tenth, mm-hmm. an eighth of a ten, uh, again, point eight to a second. Yeah, like it was like he might get a little bit, and then it was like he just would fade back to a second. It's like, and a lot of this is on the cars. I get mm-hmm. it. We we could. That's a whole other can of worms talking about the you know bodies and everything. Yeah, but and at the Knoxville, road. there really isn't like Eldora. You move around and yeah. find another groove where you're not in their air. Right. right? I didn't feel like. To me, I didn't watch all of it, but watching what I watched in Knoxville is you can't find another lane. 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 Yeah, there, you know, if you're faster, you're not going to be able to move, your, change your lane, and find a way to make a pass. It Dav- seems like Davenport says they've brought the bottom yeah. in a lot mm-hmm. over the years. Uh, narrowed it narrowed a little bit. In, meaning closer to the top, so out, yeah. I guess I should say. Uh, narrowed the track where there's, you know, if there was more bottom down there, you could have another line right. to get to and it's, you get clean air, um, you know, maybe have a, a – what we call the I racing folks call the slider line or mm-hmm. the mini slider, or whatever um, momentum line, whatever you want to call it. Um, it just didn't, doesn't seem like they have that option there in, right now, and it's unfortunate. Uh, but I, I still just I think I, I know I, I know the the folks at Lucas Oil would much prefer JD keep those <laughs> to himself. Hey, a lot of fans too. I don't, you know, but um, um, I don't know. I admire his his willingness to be honest. Honesty. I'm you just know? wondering, like. 
And I think we saw a post from his wife, Rachel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves his, his in-laws. They, yeah, you know. I, had to, I had to clarify. <laughs> although, although the picture wasn't with his how, in-laws, how it was the picture yeah, that the in-laws, in-laws took. took. <laughs> how do JD's in-laws feel after, you know, seeing all that? So, no, it's just it's, one of those things you keep to yourself, especially considering that you had won. Yes. You know? Yeah, it's not the thing to say in victory lane. But, um, hey, maybe he's, you know, the late, great Scott Blunquist. Maybe JD's thinking he's learned a little bit and that you got to – Make people polarizing. either love you, yeah, yeah, you know, and he don't have enough people hating him. Yeah, he's got to. So he's looking to, more yeah, be a little more more polarizing. <laughs> anyway, interesting little development there. Um, every driver is no, knows how he feels. Been somewhere and been frustrated and wanted to say it. Yeah, and most of us have the luxury of not um, not having a camera stuck in our face. We don't. I mean, Joseph obviously has a camera in his face all the time, but a lot of drivers have probably said the same thing. They just didn't have a camera in their face. Yeah. But then they also probably maybe didn't double down after winning. And I'll, I'll be honest, like, I mean, it is, like you said, kudos to Davenport for being honest. That's refreshing. Like, mm-hmm. how many times I'm sure Joseph wanted to say on the vlog. Tell us what you really yeah, feel. Yeah, tell us what you really feel. You know, rarely does he actually say, you know, when he's frustrated with a track and the mm-hmm. situation, you know, how he really feels about it. And I, I would say most drivers are that way. Um, so, but, yeah, you know, it's part of it. I mean, and it may lead to change. Maybe they'll widen the track before mm-hmm. they go back next year. Yeah, racing will be better. Um, you know, if you, sometimes you got to be public about criticisms to get change to yeah. happen. So mm-hmm. we'll see.